Hello, everybody. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Today, I'd like to talk about the loop pattern, which is an extension of cleanest operator for more expressive pattern matching. I'd like to talk also about the pattern matching system of the Edison programming language on which the loop pattern are implemented. This is the content of today's presentation. First, I will introduce the motivation and the result of this research by showing a sample program of loop patterns. Second, I will introduce the related work. Third, I will introduce the overview of pattern matching system Edison on which the loop pattern are implemented. First, I will introduce the motivation and the result of this research. The aim of this research is to achieve the expressive patterns for a wider range of data structure, including multi-set, trees, and graphs. To achieve this goal, I have uh, solved the two problems. First problem is the design of pattern matching system that can handle nonlinear pattern matching with backtracking. Nonlinear patterns are patterns that allow multiple occurrences of the same variable in a pattern. Nonlinear pattern matching with backtracking is important to extend the target of pattern matching to non free data types. Non free data types are data types whose data have no standard form. For example, a multi set is non free data type because a collection AAB is, uh, has two equivalent other forms, BAA and ABA, if we regard them as a multi set. Second problem is extension of repeated patterns. Traditional repeated patterns have two problems. First, we can't change the pattern repeated depending on the current repeat count. We can't write uh, patterns such as this because of these, this limitation. Second, we can't apply them to arbitrary data structures such as trees and graphs other than list. The solution for this problem is the loop pattern. It's today's topic. Before showing the sample of uh, loop patterns, let me show you the sample of pattern matching expression of uh, our language. This match expression extracts all 10 primes from the infinite list of prime numbers. Match all is a syntax construct for pattern matching in, in Edison. It takes a target, matcher, and match clause, which consists of pattern and body. Match all expression evaluates the body expression for all, for all pattern matching result and returns a collection. Here we pattern match the infinite list of prime numbers as a list of integers using this pattern. This pattern matches twin primes from in the infinite list of prime numbers. As a result, the evaluation result of this match all expression is a collection of that consists of all twin primes. Edison adapts regi regi evaluation strategy. Therefore, we can extract uh, first six twin prime using uh, the take function like this. Let's, add look, uh, let's look, uh, investigate this pattern. First, join is a pattern constructor that divides a collection into two, two lists, head part and tail part. Here, we use join and wildcard to discard uh, head element, head part of the uh, prime number list. Next, const pattern is used to extract uh, the head element, head element from the tail collection. It is bound to the pattern variable p. Const is a pattern constructor to divide a collection into the head and the rest as ordinary functional language. Again, the console is used to extract the next element. And this is called the value pattern. Uh, the pattern that is, uh, the expression following a comma can be any expression. The value pattern matches if the target is equal with the uh, value after comma. 
in Edison, a pattern is pattern matching is proceeded from left to right. So we can, uh, we can refer the value bound to pattern variable uh, left side of patterns. So we can refer uh, refer to p a bound value bound to p here. So uh, <laughs> So finally, we do not care the tail, uh, other, this part of the collection, so we use wild curve here. That way, we can write of describe pattern for twin prime. Let's show another example. This is a, this match action enumerate all two combinations of elements from the argument collection. Here, we, we also use join for discarding the set part of the collection. After that, we extract and bind the next element to x1. After that, uh, we discard the next part of the list using join and wildcard again. After that, we extract an uh, element and bound to x2. Thus, we can extract uh, two combination, uh, two element, uh, combination of two elements. X, X1, X underscore two is uh, called index pattern variable. Uh, it is uh, important uh, to discuss nonlinear loop patterns uh, that are shown later. Next, uh, next, let us consider pattern matching uh, for enumerating all combination of three elements from the target collection. It can be written uh, by only uh, by modifying uh, a bit for comb two. This uh, I explained before. Just adding this. Ne now let us generalize these function for uh, arbitrary n. The root pattern can be used for that purpose. The loop pattern takes four arguments, index variable, index range, repeated, uh, repeat pattern, and end pattern. An index variable is a variable to hold the current repeat count. Index range specializes the range where the index variable moves. Repeat pattern is a pattern repeated when the index variable in the index range. End pattern is a pattern expanded when the index va variable get, get out of the index range. In the repeated pattern, uh, in the repeat pattern, we can use eclipse like that. This eclipse is, is, uh, is expanded to repeated, repeat pattern, end pattern, or both of them. As a more interesting example of loop patterns, uh, let me show n queen's problem solver implemented using loop patterns. n queen problem is the problem uh, of the placing n chess queens on uh, n times n board such that the n queen is able, not able to attack each other. This problem uh, solves four queen problems. The answer two, four, one, three, uh, means such kind of position of uh, queens. The solution must be a re rearrangement of uh, this collection, so we pattern match them as much set of integer. The requirement, requirement that all two queens must uh, not share the same diagonal, diagonal is represented with a condition uh, like this. It is uh, uh, written using not pattern and value pattern like this. Uh, please note that the const pattern is used for match set two as a list. In this case, const divides the collection into uh, any element and the rest collection. 
we can write a uh, general NQM problem solver using a double nested loop pattern. The inner loop is used to describe the conditions that all two queens must not share the same diagonal. Please note that uh, the pattern repeated changes by their repeat count of this in this pattern. Therefore, therefore this pattern cannot be uh, described by the traditional cleanest operator and repeated pattern. This program demonstrates the pattern matching of trees. This part of the program defines a category tree of programming languages. For example, uh, Edison belongs to pattern match oriented and uh, dynamic type subcategory of functional languages. This part of the program defines the pattern matching method for trees. Leaf obtains one argument and it is pattern matched as a string. Node takes two arguments. First argument is pattern matched as a string. A second argument is pattern matched as a match set of trees. This match or expression enumerate all category which Edison belongs. We can place ellipses uh, in a place where we like. This feature allows us to use the loop pattern for arbitrary user-defined data structures. This sample demonstrates pattern matching for graphs. I, this solves the uh, traveling CSMA problem using this, this pattern matching. Now let us introduce related work. First, let me introduce a related work on nonlinear pattern matching with backtracking. Uh, as a solution for this problem, I designed and implemented a new pattern matching system uh, that I uh, showed in the previous slide. Actually, the paper for that is uh, going to appear in April 2018. As mentioned, the loop pattern is implemented on this pattern matching system. This paper discusses the, these two criteria is important for practical pattern matching for non-free data types. And here's the list of proposal of pattern matching extension. There are many such proposals, but uh, none of them satisfies uh, all requirement that in previous slide. Our language prefers both requirement and has additional features. These additional features. Next, let us introduce a little work for extension of repeated patterns. As I mentioned before, the traditional repeated pattern has these two limitations. The idea of recursive defined, uh, recursively defined pattern from a tree regular expression language is very similar with the loop patterns. Recursively defined pattern allows us to write recursive patterns for trees like this. However, they still suffer from the first limitation. The reason, uh, the reason is because it does not, uh, it does not provide a method for managing the repeat count. Repeat count. The advantage of the loop pattern over the recursive defined pattern is its ability to refer to repeat count, repeat count in pattern like this. Okay. Okay. Uh, there. Yeah. I explained uh, how, uh, how Exxon can extend uh, its pattern matching. For example, this is uh, a definition of match set matcher. This part discovers how we uh, interpret the const pattern for match set. Each part discovers how to const, uh, decompose patterns, how to decompose matches and target. It decomposes uh, uh, these things like this and recursively uh, pattern match for each part. This part uh, defines the how we interpret value pattern. This uh, defines equality for match set. In Aplus paper, we discuss this pattern match algorithm like this. Operation semantics of Edison pattern matching is also presented. The latest pattern match and paper for loop pattern also include the operation semantics of loop patterns like this. 
Finally, let me emphasize that the loop pattern, if we combine this loop pattern with the nonlinear pattern matching with backtracking, it's, uh, we can write a very excessive pattern like that. Uh, this is a list, list of paper published on Edison. Edison. I really thank Scheme Workshop for giving me opportunity to publish my first paper last year. It led me to publish uh, pattern matching paper too. That's today's topic. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to hear your question now. Have you considered uh, writing a surfy? <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, like to do that. Uh, yeah, okay, that's, that's something that you think about? Second question, I, I would say um, syntactically, uh, the, the, the form that you're proposing is, is, um, is fairly heavy in its introduction of things like dollars and underscores. Um, have you thought at all about, about hygiene and how hygiene uh, relates to the, the various issues here? Can, can I explain more what I, what I mean? Or, uh, yeah, so, so, um, so for instance, um, when I have, if I try to write macros over this, I have code that maybe introduces underscores and no. then I nest these and I have you know, multiple underscores or maybe just my programmers yeah. decide to use names with underscores. Uh, it seems like you're gonna get into issues, uh, hygiene related issues. Have you, have you thought um, at all about this? Hygiene, hygiene, uh, macro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. hygiene. Uh, is, 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 do you think yeah. that would, might be an issue for this? Is it something that you could, maybe you don't have this, this problem or I don't know. Uh, maybe we could talk offline. Uh, are there problems with variable capture when you use macros to expand uh, into the pattern matching code? Uh, uh, actually, uh, as, uh, uh, for, okay, pattern modulation in pattern, for example, uh, uh, we, um, uh, Uh, I, mm, uh, sorry. Okay. Is, is there a is there a macro? So uh, the, in the uh, implement, uh, you have an implementation of this, uh, yes. and and and, uh, and it's it's part of it's part of the Egison language. Uh, is that a, a language? Uh, yes. And and does it have a macro system associated with it currently? Or uh, yes, kind 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 it has no, no macro system. It has no macro system currently. Yes. Okay, so maybe that's something that's not an issue for you at this point. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so the Egison language, it's, it's not built on top of a scheme. It uh, is its own language uh, completely. Currently, it is influenced uh, as interpreter. Uh, as an for, interpreter. Uh, it's it, uh, own interpreter, not on scheme. Not, not, not use, yeah, so it's not a thing that layers on top, yeah. Oh, so, so you wouldn't have a scheme macro expanded. Right, right. Uh, So you can certainly also have issues with divergence, where, for instance, patterns can run forever. It's a, a true statement, presumably. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is possible, I would assume, for certain pattern matches to run forever. Is that tr a true for, statement? For, for, uh, infinite loop? Yes, infinite loop. I have uh, some idea to uh, avoid this issue. Uh, I think it, it's written in okay. other paper. Thank you so much.